Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me. Today we are stirring up a brightening, hydrating facial serum starring niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. This entire formulation is cold process, so it's quite simple to make, and it's very easy to customize the scent. We'll begin by weighing one and a half grams of Propanadiol 1-3 and 0.25 grams of Liquid Germal Plus into a beaker. Propanadiol is a lovely low-tack humectant, and Liquid Germal Plus is our preservative. Up next, weigh out 0.05 grams of soft xanthan gum. Add that to the beaker with the propanadiol and liquid germal plus and stir thoroughly to combine. Soft xanthan gum is a new to me ingredient recommended by my patron Claire. It was a gift from Formulator Sample Shop and I'm really enjoying working with it. I find it has a distinctly nicer consistency than not soft xanthan gum. That said, if you only have not soft xanthan gum, you can use that instead. This tiny amount of gum gives the finished serum a touch of body so that it's more serum-y than watery. Once the xanthan gum has been distributed in the propanadiol and preservative, we can continue. Up next, you'll need 15.67 grams of distilled water. I've also weighed our pH adjustment, 0.035 grams of a 90% lactic acid solution directly into the water since it's such a tiny amount of ingredient. 20 grams of fragrant sweet grass hydrosol scents this formulation. Sweet grass hydrosol smells wonderfully of sunshine on long prairie grass in the summer and I absolutely adore it. This bottle was a gift from Plants Power. You could definitely use a different hydrosol if you want to have a differently scented finished serum or you can replace the hydrosol with more distilled water for an unscented final product. 10 grams of a 1% low molecular weight hyaluronic acid solution really amps up the luxury and hydrating factors of this formulation. Learn how to make your very own 1% hyaluronic acid solution from dry hyaluronic acid powder with the blog post and video I shared on this all the way back in 2018. This amount of hyaluronic acid stock works out to be 0.2% hyaluronic acid in the finished formulation, which is enough to be effective. And our last ingredient is two and a half grams of niacinamide, also known as vitamin B3. Niacinamide is one of my favorite skincare ingredients. It has done wonderful things for my complexion, really helping reduce the occurrence of acne and brightening and evening out my skin tone. It also helps reduce inflammation, increase the synthesis of ceramides, and reduce transepidermal water loss. That is all of our ingredients, so put everything in the beaker with the xanthan gum slurry, stir to combine, and then cover it so that everything can hydrate and dissolve. While we wait, if you are looking for more information about this formulation, please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post about it, which is always linked in the description box below my videos. My partner blog posts always contain lots of extra information about the formulation, links to places to buy all the ingredients, information on scaling, shelf life, and sometimes also discount codes. Once the mixture is uniform and clear, we need to check the pH to make sure that it is in the happy spot for niacinamide, which is in about the five to six range. To check the pH, I highly recommend using a pH meter rather than pH strips, as meters are just a lot more accurate. To learn more about the pH meter I have, please look it up in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. To measure the pH, we'll begin by creating a 10% solution of the formulation. So weigh two grams of the serum into a small bowl or beaker, and then add 18 grams of distilled water. Whisk to combine, and then and check the pH of that solution with your pH meter. If you've made this formulation as written, the pH should fall between 5.5 and 6. If it's lower than 5, you'll want to raise the pH, and if it's higher than 6, you'll want to lower it. If you'd like to learn more about pH testing and adjusting, please make sure you are checking out that partner blog post. I've included several helpful links to awesome resources about it in that post. I've also shared a patron exclusive video on pH testing and adjusting, so if you'd like to see that and more than 50 other exclusive videos, please consider becoming a $10 and up patron. Once we know that the pH of our beautiful serum is appropriate, it's time to package it up. I package different iterations of this formulation in dropper bottles and in small bottles with treatment pump tops. Both worked well, so use what you've got. This 50 gram batch will work well in a 60 milliliter slash two fluid ounce container. I like to use this serum towards the start of my skincare routine, so after cleansing but before lotions or oil serums. If you'd like to learn more about my free DIY skincare for beginners e-course, click here. And if you would like to check out the face lotion I'm following up this serum with, click here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!